Hello and welcome to this second video in the series Model Engineering for Beginners. In this video I'm going to discuss safety procedures and lathe accuracy. If your lathe is not accurate it will be very difficult to make anything accurate on the lathe. So you need to carry out some simple tests to find out how accurate your lathe is. This first one is the tailstock test. If you put a parallel center in the chuck and a Morse taper center in the tailstock and bring the points together, the two points should be exactly in line with each other. If they aren't, some adjustments will need to be made. Usually the adjustment is to the tailstock, and this is quite simple to do. Always treat machine tools with great respect. Never leave the chuck key in the chuck, and use a chuck guard if you have one fitted. Also, do not wear loose clothing that can get caught in the chuck. At the end of the previous video, I showed you how to make a test bar. Here we are again, you relieve the centre of a piece of bar. The bar needs to stick out of the chuck 6 to 8 inches. You don't need to make the relief too deep and take light cuts because it will chatter as the bar is stuck out of the chuck so far and not supported at the tailstock end. After you've machined this recess, take fine cuts from the first part as you see here and without altering any tool settings, machine the other end of the bar near the chuck. With the recess being in the centre of the bar, when you get to the end of the part you're machining, you can move it straight along to the next piece. The reason for the relief in the middle is twofold. Firstly, if you're having to do many of these tests whilst aligning the machine, it speeds up the process and also it stops the tool from wearing, so the cuts are basically identical at both ends. After you've finished machining the bar, do not drag the tool back over the work, withdraw it and move it out of the way. Next, using a micrometer, take a measurement on the first part of the bar. And then take a measurement on the second part of the bar nearer the chuck. In an ideal world, these two measurements should be 100% identical. And in this case on this old Boxford, which is very old and the chuck's well past its best, it is very true. I cannot stress enough how important it is to have an accurate machine. For instance, if you were boring a cylinder and the lathe was not set up properly, you would turn a taper so the piston would get tight to one end of the cylinder. Similarly, any axle shafts or crankshafts that you make do not need to be tapered in any way, they must be parallel at all times. As I mentioned earlier, this old Boxford of mine is very accurate, so it doesn't need any attention. But if you find by using a test bar you have errors between the two ends of the bar, therefore you will be turning a taper, you need to do something about it. And the first thing to do is to make sure the lathe is level and on solid ground. Even though a lathe bed is a substantial piece of cast iron, it can still twist and this will give you errors. So using a spirit level on the lathe bed, check that the lathe bed is level. Then repeat the test bar procedure. Sometimes just levelling the lathe will put it right. Other times you will have to undo the bolts holding the lathe bed down to the cabinet and put some packings or shims under one corner of the lathe bed. This usually does the trick. In the next video of this series, I will be showing you how to make some things. Thanks for watching and I hope it's been of some use to you.